In the town of Kitale in Kenya's northern Rift Valley, fish from Lake Tokana is a staple food. But once the fish's most sought after parts are sold off, the rest is wasted. The Victorian Foods factory saw an opportunity to add value to locally caught Nile perch by turning the fish skin into leather. It goes through a tanning process to strengthen the fibers. Banana extract gets rid of the fish odor. Fish leather is uh, it's, it's considered exotic leather. It's, it's like reptile leather. And you know, the reptiles are endangered. We have uh, crocodile leather or uh, um, snake leather, with, which is endangered. But fish leather, it, it, it's a good alternative to that. You don't require ascites uh, for, for you know, the permit that you use to, to export leather, the leather for endangered animal species. You don't need that. So I think very soon, uh, as it gains popularity, it's, it's going to, to, there's going to be a lot of demand for it in the market. Victorian Foods has been working with the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization as part of its Blue Growth Initiative, which aims to add value and increase employment in the fisheries sector. The UN is also promoting blue fashion and challenged designer Jamil Walji to create garments for a show held in Nairobi. I was inspired actually to take the challenge to create garments with it, infuse our local fabric, the leso, together with the fish skin and the European materials. I wanted to bring out a combination that has never been done before to bring out a totally new image and a new look to how we look at leather products. Fish skin leather has been used to make shoes, jackets, belts, handbags and purses. But its applications aren't limited to the clothing sector. There's also interest from the automobile industry to use the leather for car interiors.